Hey, it's me again. This is my second entry in what I guess I'm now calling my transition diary. It's March 1st. My birthday! <laughs> uh, March 1st, 2008. Uh, I'm really actually really happy today. Uh, before I start talking about what's changed about me since last time I made one of these videos. Oh my god, last year my birthday was terrible. I spent it, I mean, it's not that I, being in the city is bad, but, you know, I was in the city, it was a shitty day. It was rainy, it was cold, and I spent the day registering for emergency housing because I thought I was going to be homeless and have no place to live. And I'm sitting there, you know, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm like the first one there, just waiting for more people to come in, I'm sitting there thinking, oh my god. This is how I'm spending my 21st birthday. But, hey, this year totally made up for it. Totally made up for it. Ah, uh, well, a bunch of people remembered my birthday, which felt really good. Um, I got a bunch of cool gifts. Um, a buddy Monk, I know he didn't buy this, but, you know, he worked very hard to find me this very strange oddity. I'm assuming this is some kind of souvenir from like Hawaii or some other tropical island, so whatever. Um, and Amanda, the ditz that she is, gave me um, Einstein lip therapy. I'm actually wearing it right now and it feels pretty good. I like it. And she also gave me this glass. I'm assuming she's implying something, but I'm not going to go there with her. I saved the candles from the cake that my friend Brittany got me. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to do something cool. Why waste good candles? I mean, who knows? When we get invaded and the power's cut and you need a candle? and you threw out the candles on your birthday cake, you're gonna feel sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Um, also, I managed to sell one of my bikes that I've been trying to unload for a while. Got a hundred bucks for it. Yes! And I finally, finally have enough to order the bike that I want to replace that. But anyways, getting back to business, to business, to the point of this vlog. Um, I know you all like that. You're probably wondering about it. This is something I found a while ago in the street. I swear I washed it several times before I wore it. I just love it. I love it because it makes my forehead actually look you know, like it's sloping back a little bit, even though it's not. <laughs> but let's see. Okay, transition, transitioning, transitioning, transitionality. Um, you know, not a lot's happened, but... Uh, Probably gonna have a surprise for all of you in a couple of months. You know, my hair is still, still growing at kind of the same rate. You know, still have to shave every two days. Whatever, my hair hasn't like gotten thinner or more fine. It's still, still as coarse and bushy as always. But, whatever. Um, I have noticed, however. Ah, that I have a little bit of rust growth. You like? Oh, wait, let me turn this way. I think. I guess it's like really bad lighting. But yep, yeah, they're growing. Ah, I'm still feeling kind of sensitive. But that's going to come with territory, I guess. That is, that this is going on in my life. Uh, um, um, I think that was all I had to say. Um, let's see, working at the shop, it's still the same as always. 
my boss is awesome, everyone else is, you know, un things I will not say in mixed company. Um, luckily, uh, one person will be leaving very soon. I don't know whether it's by cho going to be by his own choice or if it's going to be my boss saying bye bye. But one way or another, this guy's gonna go. Which, you know, makes me happy. I wish it didn't come to this, but I'm not I'm doing everything I need to do. This guy's the one that's making my life miserable. He's the one who's picking all the fights. So pretty soon he'll be But, whatever. I really wish this could have worked out between the two of us, but... Obviously, me staying out of his life, not provoking him, doesn't work. So, in other news... Uh, yeah, jury duty. <laughs> two days. Two days. This should be interesting. It should be very interesting to see how long it takes for me to get kicked off the jury. I'm purposely going to go in there, and I'm going to have like put like a little bit, a little bit of eyeliner and then smear it around my eyes, so it looks like I'm, you know, I've had a shitty night, or that I got drunk as hell the night before and I didn't get a whole lot of sleep, or that I got into a fight, something to make me look like a schlep, and. And of course, I'm just going to totally play up whatever stereotype the prosecution is going to have. And, you know, but then again, I don't know. Because I really don't want to be on a jury. I... I don't know. I, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Like, maybe I want to do my civic duty and... You know, be one of the few level-headed people on there. Because I know that I'm a fair-minded person, or I'd like to think, rather. I like to think I'm a fair-minded person. And we need more fair-minded people on juries instead of people who are full of like, bigotry and bias. Same time, I don't want to have to commute every week to the city. I don't understand why I have to go way downtown Manhattan when White Plains is much closer, much easier to get for me to get to. But what do I know? I'm just some crazy person that works in a bike shop. You know, I have no concept of our nation's legal system. Or rather, our system, our country's judiciary system. Now, I think it makes more sense to send someone further to go to to be a jury, to be a juror on a jury in way downtown Manhattan, rather than have the person go to White Plains, which is within the person's county, closer, easier for them to get to. I think that. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but you know, I'm I'm just crazy, I know. I'm I'm loony. Just, <whistles> must be the medication. <laughs> uh oh well I'm hitting the nine minute mark. Uh I guess I should wrap this up. Um Yeah, so I'm gonna be uploading another vlog with this and it's kinda kinda personal. I had to think I I made this a couple of days ago, and I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to upload this, just because it was like really emotional, and I'm just warning you guys ahead of time to all my subscribers, freaking viewers, friends, and stalkers, <laughs> uh, just you know, be prepared, It's it gets messy. Uh, but yeah, that's it, and I better wrap this up. So I will talk to all you lovely people later. Bye. Next time.